You don't need a mirror, you're a man. You know what? <laughs> I think I actually might need a mirror every now and then. I didn't realize my gender had anything to do with this. What, you're a man and you like to look at yourself? Oh, you must be insane. Bro, real men never look at themselves. We're tough. We don't care about our hygiene or what we look like. Of course not. Dude, that stuff's for women. Are you crazy? Is that what they were going for? Or were they just too lazy to put a mirror there? Guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Gatekeeping. The people that tell us what we can and can't do, what we can and can't think, and basically exactly how we should live according to them. So pretty much today, we're going to be checking out a whole bunch of really annoying people. And I couldn't be more excited. I hope you guys are all doing incredible. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me again. I'm super excited to get into this. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun. Once again, it's late at night right now. I don't know. It just seems like that's a really good time to film videos for me. I don't really understand why, but I've been filming a lot more of a night time. Like, I guess it takes me all day to wake up. <laughs> and by like, what, 8.30 at night, I feel about ready to film videos. So here I am. Lately, I've been really liking the videos I've been doing. I've been super proud of them. I'm so happy right now. I've been trying really, really hard with my thumbnails to make them better. And I think it actually might be working. I've never had as many views as what I'm getting right now on the channel. Because it tells you in like the last 48 hours, like how many you get. And I've never had as many as I've been getting lately. So that's so exciting. So many fresh faces on the channel. So many new people. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. Our community is growing every day. So thank you for being here. Let's jump in, do some gatekeeping. Dudes that drink Fireball be like, oh yeah, because it matters what type of alcohol you drink. Bro, if you don't drink beer, you're not a man. Or like, if you don't drink this super hard stuff, you're not a man. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you realize this, dude, but what I like drinking has nothing to do with you. Alcohol is a massive gatekeeping thing. Like, whether it's beer or whether it's rum or whether it's like anything like that. It's like guys with their steak. They're like, nah, dude, if it's not still bleeding, you're not a man. Dude, real men aren't this insecure. They say if a woman's first child was a girl, it was most likely that the mother needed some maturity. If she had a boy, she needed to know the real meaning of love. As sweet as that is. I guess if you have a daughter, that means you don't need to know the meaning of love or you're really immature. <laughs> and what are you trying to say? That if you have a girl, you'll instantly have to be more mature? Girls are so much harder to raise than boys are. <laughs> I don't know what this is trying to say. Maybe it's not trying to say anything. Maybe it's trying to be sweet and adorable. And like, these are just old meanings, but it just comes out bad. Bro, you had a daughter? You must be immature as hell. And if you don't have a son, you don't know the real meaning of love. Oh, oh, that's crazy because I thought I did. Start the year by confusing the kids nowadays. Oh, they'll never know what this is, will they? <laughs> what are those things? Bakugan, those things that you throw when they open? That's all they are, aren't they? I never even had any of them, and I still know what they are. People that were born in 2000, they'll never know what that is. No, 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 no. This is for the OG 90s kids. I don't know why people always gatekeep such weird stuff. Like, oh, you weren't back in my day when I was playing with Bakugan. Okay, dude, what does that even matter? You know what I mean? Like, even if you're a young kid right now and you don't know what they are, what does that matter? Who cares? Ah, oh, like, it's never about anything important, and it's sort of weird. I'm sorry for your loss, and I wish you well, but come speak to me when you have kids and lose them. Are you gatekeeping being sad? Yeah, they are. And that's really sad. Somebody who has gone through something that awful should know that it's not a competition and you shouldn't compare things like that. What's the point of that? It's so sad. Oh, that sort of stuff bums me out so much because they just should know better. Yeah, like, what are you doing? <laughs> What's the goal here? I'm more sad than you. I hope you know that. Everyone is allowed to be sad. Everyone's going through different stuff. And you're not better than someone else because you've been through more. Oh, Oh God, shouldn't that be obvious? Chrissy Teigen's sober New Year's Eve was lit. The model and cookbook author recently revealed she is four weeks sober. Wow, four weeks sober. I'm five years sober, but I'm not advertising it. You just did. In your attempt to discredit her sobriety, you literally just advertised yours. The ironing is delicious. The ironing is delicious. The word is irony. Huh? Sorry, that had to be put in there. Yeah, that's exactly right. I'm five years sober, but I'm not advertising it. Yeah, you are. You just did. And also, dude, yeah, congratulations. That's amazing, but it's not a competition. Don't use that as the thing that makes you different from everyone else. Like, oh, I'm different and better than you because I've been sober for longer. No, that just makes other people upset. It's amazing that she's been sober for, what'd she say, four weeks. That's great. And I'm sure it's been really tough. Yeah, it's good that you've been doing it for five years, but like, don't take that away from her. Can't 
we all just get along? Sir, this is a Wendy's. That's not how you use it. Then how do you use it? When someone types a super long comment and you're too lazy to read, you're actually gatekeeping the saying, Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> See what I mean? Why do you care at all, dude? These people are so confusing. <laughs> you're having an argument with someone online about them using the phrase, Sir, this is Wendy's. I'm going to remember that next time I think I'm wasting time. New players learning how things work. People actually helping instead of negative comments. Yeah, that's so true. If you're better than somebody else at something and they're new to it, don't discourage them. Try your best to be encouraging. It takes time to be good at anything and like you don't want people to feel like they're too nervous to even start because they're just going to get attacked with negative comments because they're automatically not good at something. No, 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 no. That's not good. Ohio is not in the Midwest. Uh, dude, here's a link that says it is. You go right on in believing the government. Those of us in the real Midwest know better. Gatekeeping living in the Midwest. Okay. And you Google is Ohio in the Midwest and it says yes. <laughs> it is in the Midwest. Do any of you guys live in Ohio? Like what is this about? Why would someone think it isn't in the Midwest if it is in the Midwest? If it's not debatable, then what are you talking about? New Year's Eve parties are for people that peaked in high school. Like dude, that's kind of funny. <laughs> and also I think context really matters here because we don't know what she was talking about. Like it was probably a response to something else and it probably made sense. Didn't a whole bunch of influencers get in trouble for having New Year's Eve parties when they weren't meant to or something? You know, like if it was like a response to something like that and she's like, oh dude, they're just being idiots. Like they just peaked in high school. Like that's sort of a different thing, but I have no idea. And at the end of the day, if you're allowed to party and there's no restrictions where you live or like no COVID stuff, go and party. And at the end of the day, if you're not hurting anyone else, just do whatever you want. Good morning to all the men with a beard. The rest of you dudes enjoy your work shift at Sephora selling cosmetics. <laughs> dude, you're not a man if you don't have a beard. Okay, Miss Piggy, what is this? Why are you saying these things? This top comment makes a really good point. There are a whole list of traditionally masculine jobs like soldier, offshore oil worker, and firefighter where you aren't allowed to have a beard. Yeah, that's exactly right. Are they not men? Are they working at Sephora selling cosmetics? Which, by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'm not being a gatekeeper here. But yeah, that kind of goes against everything that you're saying. And you obviously didn't think about it for very long. Like, oh, you're not a man unless you have a beard. Well, you know. <laughs> and also, if you're a man working at Sephora, that doesn't mean that you're not a man. Oh, God. Leave everyone alone. Dudes who order boneless wings close the fridge with their hips. <laughs> See, that's another one that's just meant to be a joke. But still, dude, if I want to get boneless wings and close the fridge with my hips, then let me. <laughs> I'm allowed to do those things. Kids in the 2000s. Hey, mum, I got in a Nerf war with all my friends and I won. I also scraped my knee, but I washed it off with a hose, so it's fine. I'm going to watch SpongeBob now. Kids today. Mum, my iPad died and I'm depressed now because there's nothing to do. People are bragging about being born in the 2000s and how that makes them different. That wasn't even long ago. Some things are never going to change. People have always been doing this. Oh, back in my day, we were tougher than you because life was harder. Yeah, that's the point, dude. We're trying to make things better. And maybe, yeah, we're at a sweet spot now where things are a little bit too easy. And yeah, some people do need some perspective, you know? Some people don't realize how good they have it. But there are always going to be people doing this sort of crap. Like, oh, if you weren't born in the 90s, you aren't cool and you don't know this, this and this. Bro, no one cares. This is not a taco. These are tacos. With this one, I don't completely disagree. I bloody hate hard shell tacos. They're so hard to eat. But that doesn't mean that they're not tacos. I would much prefer to eat the soft ones on the bottom, but <laughs> doesn't mean that the hard shell ones aren't tacos. I'd love to go and get some authentic tacos. You don't need to gatekeep this. It's just food. But like, I don't disagree completely. Like, if I made that top one at home, that would be a lot worse than if I went and got some proper stuff. 26 days cocaine free. Absolutely buzzing with myself after being addicted to it for so many years. Most people celebrate after a year, not three weeks. People that say that sort of stuff should be ashamed of themselves. That's so horrible. They said that they were addicted to cocaine for years and they gave it up. That's incredible. But now most people celebrate after a year, not three weeks. Screw most people then, bro. <laughs> this is amazing. And don't take it away from them just because you didn't celebrate so soon. <laughs> Good for you. And also, is that even true? Most people would celebrate something that massive a lot sooner than a year. These people make me so mad. I'm sorry, guys. But don't bring someone else down that's doing an amazing job. That's so scummy. Oh, you're a Steven Universe fan? You're 18 and it's time to get a job. You know what, mate? I'm perfectly happy not having a job. You can go and do that yourself. This is just like the ones that are like, oh, if you don't work 45 hours a day, then you're not a real man or not a real woman or you don't even know what hard 
work is. Bro, you can keep your hard job. Go away. Tell us you're a Pokemon trainer without saying you're a Pokemon trainer. Oh, okay. Here we had a comment that no one asked for. <laughs> Pokemon is for unathletic types who never let it in a contact sport. As a youth football coaching legend. <laughs> no way. I forbid my players from even mentioning sci-fi stuff like Pokemon in my presence. Wait, so is that you saying that you're a Pokemon trainer without saying that you're a Pokemon trainer? Or are you being serious? Because I really hope you're joking. Like, if this guy actually is joking, that is pretty funny. Everyone in the comments is just saying that this guy's a funny troll. No, no, no. This ain't gatekeeping. This guy's being funny. Only 2000 to 2007 kids remember these. Well, I'm a 1999 kid and I still remember them. <laughs> I guess I don't though because I wasn't born between 2000 and 2007. And also, I think it depends on the school because I think a lot of people would never have seen them before. That and also, I think a lot of people a lot older than that would have seen them. Boxes of scissors like that would have been around for a long time. You don't actually think that they were created in the 2000s, do you? <laughs> and at the end of the day, who cares? They're scissors. <laughs> oh man, these people must be so bored. When a man tells me his birthday's in July, I look at him sideways. Are you a girl? <laughs> what? <laughs> that has to be a joke. We can't control when we're born. I'm sorry. Any guy out there that's born in July, I guess you're just a girl. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. 11 years. Hashtag sober life. Hashtag good life. That's really amazing and you should be super proud of yourself. 58 years. I'm not sure why people think putting out a fire they started deserves any recognition. Oh, go away. And these people and these older people too. If anything, dude, that just shows that you should know better. If you've been sober for 58 years, that means you're at least like 60. <laughs> well, I hope so anyway. I've been drinking every day since I was two years old. You'd think if you were that old, you'd know better than to put somebody down like this. Like, that's not cool, man. Come on. If you're talking about what's happening in America, then mind your own damn business and worry about your own country. Yeah, good luck with that, dude. Trying to stop everybody from worrying about what's going on in America. There are always going to be people worried about what's happening in other countries. You can't stop that. And I'm sorry that it bothers you so much. Also, to all my Americans watching, I'm really sorry about everything that's going on over there. And I hope you're safe and I hope you're well. We see everything on the news in Australia about America. And it's just like, I just hope you're okay. You know, stay safe out there, whatever you do. God, you don't have to post every single instance of gatekeeping on this sub. Holy crap. That's literally what this subreddit is for. Oh my God, he's gatekeeping, gatekeeping. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't think I can take any more gatekeeping for one day. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This subreddit is so much fun. I love it so much. I've been filming a lot of videos lately and I'm starting to lose my voice. So I better get out of here pretty quick. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to help me reach 50,000 subs, make sure you subscribe and hit like on the video. That'd mean the world to me. I appreciate the support so much, guys, by the way. I don't want to seem ungrateful because I'm really, really grateful. The channel is going incredible and I'm so happy. And I'm so lucky to have such an amazing fan base. You guys are great. No, you're not just great. You're the best. Speaking of you guys, let's do the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day goes to April. Hey, Vincey and Zach, we all love you. Oh, you're the best. Thank you so much. Zach's editing this video as we speak. And I'm sure he appreciates that too. You're the best. Okay, time to get out of here, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new fun videos. I'll see you guys then.